Who remembers back at the beginning of the year when the biggest thing that you had to worry about was a simple PA boot over with no escape artist and a tight end delay fade that you could control on the field? Well, about seven months ago, EA patched the tight end delay fade, which took away a lot of players' offenses and honestly gave rise to the escape artist as one of the most powerful things Madden has ever seen. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys kind of a throwback of how to use an actually good tight end delay fade. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Dan from the Zamound YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to use a good version of a tight end delay route. Now, early on in the year, we're talking seven months ago at this point now, EA put out a patch that made it so tight end delay fades would automatically release down the field. They said that they put it on a timer, but the truth is they just automatically release downfield and get you sacked. EA Sports in the game. Just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach 12,000 subscribers here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. It is the spring of 2022 and we're still pushing upwards with the channel. Things are really growing not only here on the YouTube channel but also on my Twitch channel twitch.tv slash Zan Madden where I also stream Monday through Friday in the afternoons and obviously on the Gridiron Game Plans website and in our Discord where there's a ton of awesome community conversation. If you guys could do me a quick favor make sure you guys if you're not already hit that subscribe button as we push for 13,000 subscribers and we'll see you guys here on the other side of this and this removed one of the primary means of offense for a lot of players and i do think for the record that was a good thing for the game however i do think that block and release routes are something that should be very very important and very very valuable to your pass protection scheme especially against players that like to send everybody and guarantee their pressure at the quarterback the ability to pick up or chip a blitzer and then make yourself available after that is super super important to really any offense in the game so in today's video we're going to talk about stock delay routes. Believe it or not, stock delay routes are actually pretty effective at at least staying in on a timer. And maybe if we're being honest, that's the timer that EA was talking about as it pertained to delay routes. They basically went in and just made all the tight end delay fades, crosses, flats, instantly release, which really, really stunk. So let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to go and run a play such as the play Pat's Flood. Uh, and you see here that in this play, the tight end actually has a stock delay route that runs up the field. The running back, for the record, also has a delay route. We're going to remove that here for the purpose of this setup. But we're going to run this against the ever so popular Mike Blitz 3, Mike Blitz 0 meta. And as you guys know, this blitz is very, very effective, I would say, against a running back blocking, but a tight end staying in to protect actually does a pretty good job of picking it up. Now, the difference is that if you use a tight end delay fade from the offensive perspective, so let's say that I were to put my running back on a route and then hot route a real hot route delay fade as opposed to a stock delay fade. What we're going to notice here with this example is that if we set up any of the meta pressures at all with this, you're going to end up with the tight end instantly releasing and getting you sacked. It looks terrible. I have no idea how this was the result that EA wanted with this. If your guy blitzes, you ought to stay, chip him, and then release. And that's the problem, is that it doesn't really matter what you what you run. Um, if I were to audible and to say bunch and put my tight end on a delay fade in this formation, you're gonna notice the exact same problem. So let's take, for instance, verticals with the running back out route. Very, very popular play. If we were to kind of set this up, uh, you're gonna notice that you're gonna get sacked. I mean, the, the tight end is going to release and get you absolutely fried. And you notice right there, I didn't even set up the blitz. We had a guy drop in a three rack. I wasn't even really blitzing the crib. The problem is that tight ends will instantly go and get you sacked. You see right there, this was only a, really a four man pressure and we ended up getting to the quarterback. So you have to use stock delay routes. So with this particular play, for instance, Pat's flood, let's go ahead and put this on a hash here. Very, very simple zone beater. It's a flood combo. You got a flat, an intermediate sideline route, and a vertical pull down the left sideline. So, you know, if you're facing uh, a hard flat version of the Mike Blitz 3, you're going to basically need to pick this up and then throw your out route. So what we're going to notice here is that if you have, say, for instance, a stock tight end, you know, delay fade, you're going to see that he is going to actually stay in, lock his assignment, and then release and make himself available. This is a much more consistent and effective and honestly applicable tactic for your offense, 
no matter what it is you run, whether that's trips tied in, bunch, obviously bunch has less delay routes, but these are things that you can actually work with in your offense as opposed to the hot route variation of these particular routes. So as you kind of take a look at some of these, um, they are a little Jekyll and Hyde. Pay attention to, you know, exactly what you've got. Take a look right here at this one right here. Gun tight slots, PA flood shot. You can see I've never run this play ever this year, but obviously it's got some solid routes. It's got that angled corner route that could beat zone drops. It's got a deeper crossing route. It's kind of got a little bit of a hitchy fade. That might be decent against cover two. Um, but in general, what we're looking at right there is a delay flat. Would this be something that could apply against these blitz metas that require a tight end or a line of scrimmage blocker, if you will. So um, let's go ahead and send everybody out on a route here. Uh, let's just try this. And against this blitz, if we were to go ahead and try to guarantee our pressure, will this delay route stay in? And you see right there that it does. And then we could either throw the check down or the crossing route over the top of his head. Again, because this is a stock route, you guys are going to get much better results. Um, so, you know, as it pertains to, you know, these delay routes, take advantage of these stock ones. Uh, for instance, in my offense, I've got the X nasty. The X nasty has wide receiver delay flats all over the place. And it's even got a wide receiver delay whip route that you guys can utilize against some of these uh, blitz metas that require that you basically block a tight end. Well, now with these blitz metas, at least you can block the tight end, pick up the initial phase of the rush, and then that tight end leaks over the middle of the field and gets open for you. And really your opponents haven't had to train themselves defensively to deal with this at really for what, seven months? Um, so, you know, as it pertains to this, just kind of take a look at them. Um, here's an example out of gun Y off trips pats, PA fork. Nobody in their right mind is using that delay fade for the last seven months because they just think that they all release instantly. But the truth is this is actually pretty good. So, you know, as it pertains to this, you could maybe put the running back on an out route, you know, it depends right here. Um, a lot of players might, you know, use a deep out breaking route and then try to set up maybe a, like a cover three bomb uh, with that S post. Uh, but in general here, uh, if they do try to blitz, this tight end will stay in and you're hopefully looking at the ability to pick this up and you see that he does. Uh, and then if the pressure is, you know, something you're not comfortable with, you're going to dump it off to him. Or maybe you roll the pocket by time and throw that S post over the top in the event that it cracks a cover two shell or a cover three shell for a one play score. So again, just kind of go and look at your offense and try to find these routes. It, they are so, so, so valuable. Uh, to being able to pick up a pressure and then have something that you can dump down over the middle. If you think about all the popular metas right now. You think about DB Strike 2. You think about 335 wide, Mike Blitz for the millionth year in a row. You think about, you know, the 245 odd, Pinch 2. Having these stock delay routes is actually pretty valuable if you know how to use them and lab them within your offense. So I hope that you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. We're pushing 13,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for the support all spring as we're pushing closer and closer to Madden 23. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you guys right back here tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Ann. Get in the lab and good luck.